Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am here with a big Sassy Girl Aroma haul. This was technically two orders. It was like my Black Friday order and my order from like one of the weeks surrounding it, but they shipped them together. So you get one big ol' haul. Let's dive right in. I got two samples. I don't know if that's like because it was two orders or if they base it off of size, but anyways, we have two here. So we have Seasons Change to Be Jolly, which I actually just did a brittle of this like the week of Christmas. So this is clove, cinnamon, and vanilla. And it's pretty good. I gave it um, last week like a seven out of 10 on warm. So I will be happy to melt a small amount of that again. I also got a sample of maple bourbon, which I believe like that's just the scent notes. I don't think that's like a scent. Correct me if I'm wrong. And it's also pretty good. It's very warm. I would give this like a six out of 10, but I will warm it. We'll see how it goes. And then we have a big order. So my, I believe that technically it was like these two brittles here were one order and everything else was like a big Black Friday order, but I could be wrong. But let's dive right in. I got a few things that I've had before. So I've had pumpkin creamer before and I got a bag of blocks of it. I find like I love a bag of blocks for ease. I think brittles perform the best for me but they all perform pretty well so this is a cozy creamy blend of cashew creamer pumpkin puree brown sugar and a sprinkle of nutmeg powder i really love this in the fall it's just like a very like, even warm pumpkin um it's very soothing to me when i've melted it before i gave it a 9 out of 10 so i was happy to pick up more i also got another brittle of green machine which is one of my faves y'all she's a 10 out of 10 we love her i have her in my melting basket right now and i'm pumped so this is pistachio sugar cookie zucchini and marshmallow oh oh it's so good oh she has the best pistachio just this really good zucchini bread it's, this is like a sweet pistachio zucchini bread naturally um, that was very repetitive, but she's great. I'm pumped to have more. I feel like I'll just always pick up some whenever it's offered so that it like frequently rotates through my melting baskets because it's one of my favorites. Um, let's see. I also got another brittle of Harry Potter, which I've had before. A few of my brittles got broken here at the bottom. I don't really care about that. I know other people were like have opinions, but I'm going to break it anyways. So who cares? Uh, but this is Harry Potter, which is tea and cakes, blackberry butter, and jam cookies, vanilla sugar waffle cone. And when I melted this before, I also gave this a 10 out of 10. She's a banger. I love this. It's a really good tea and cake scent with like the fruity blackberry in there. Mm, so good. Excited for her. 10 out of 10 if I didn't say. And then I think the only other thing I've had before is death by cereal and it was offered in a loaf so for the most part i've made one exception <laughs> i don't buy things in loaves unless i have melted it and it was a 10 out of 10 and i loved it but i have had this and loved it and love cereal since and i noticed i don't have like a ton so i was very excited to get a loaf and her loaves are so heavy like it's just really dense so this is Blueberry, Fruit Loops, Fruity Pebbles, Crunch Berries, and Vanilla Bean Noel. So big. And so I got two loaves, which you might be thinking, oh god, this is so good. If you like fruity scents, this is a really good one. You might be thinking two loaves, a little excessive. I would agree. However, one of these is for my friend for Christmas. Um, I've been waiting for this to come. It was the last thing for her. For her present she also loves cereal scents i've been getting her into wax and i thought like a loaf would be really fun uh, especially the sassy little aroma loaves are just like so dense and cute so i'm gonna be sending her one of these Let's see which one is like the least smudgy I'll keep this one so i'll keep the smudgy one and send her the prettier one excited to finally send off her present and happy to have a loaf of that for myself as well. 
So we got four more brittles. These are all new scents to me. Goodnight Lover, which is blue sugar, sweet lavender, birthday cotton candy frosting. This one also got a little broken at the bottom. Again, I don't really care about that. These are really fun colors too. They're very like spring. And this is good. It's still pretty faint. Like I mostly get like lavender and some sweetness. I'm hoping the blue sugar comes out a little bit more after it cures and on warm. But this will be a really good bedroom scent. I'm excited for that. Then we have, I'm not going to pronounce this correctly, La Bonagerie, perhaps, which is flakery, flake, flakery, flaky, buttery, golden brown croissants fresh from the oven. It's in this really pretty light pink. So I don't love butter scents, but I really wanted to try this because I was like, it smells like croissants. Like, how? <laughs> and I continue to be amazed by like, wax scents that actually smell like things. And y'all, this smells like a croissant. It's so good. Oh, like I wish I had got a nut, like two brittles, honestly. I might get another one next time this comes out. We'll see how it is on warm. It's not too buttery for me on cold, but we'll see. It potentially could be, so I should warm it before I buy more, but it smells really good. It makes me want a croissant. So would suggest if you like croissants. Um, so two more, we have Hogsmeade. Oh, I gave that one an eight out of 10 and Goodnight Lover, six out of 10, forgot to say. Hogsmeade, which is warm vanilla, butterscotch, and dark rum. I, again, I don't love butter. Butterscotch is usually fine. And I'm like, sometimes like rum and things and sometimes don't. And this one is like, it's interesting. Like I would give this like probably a six out of 10 also, but I want to try it and let it cure. It is very warm. So it could be like a nice like fall warm scent, but it smells a little bit like body type to me, you know, like a soap or something. Like it doesn't smell like soap, but it smells like if those scent notes were a soap unless like the actual scent notes. I don't know if that makes sense. So I'm not sure if I love it. We'll try it. And then lastly, Fruity Kruger, which again, I love cereal scents. And Sassy Girl does them really well. This one also got snapped at the bottom. Don't really care. Crunchberry, Blackberry, Whipped Cream, and Vanilla Bean Noel. And she's also really good. I do think I like Death by Cereal more. I'm gonna give this like an 8 or a 9 out of 10 death by cereal it's 10 out of 10 but it's also a little faint so it might need a cure I'm very excited I am very excited about a lot of these things and I said those words a lot in this haul so that was my big old order again one of those loaves will be shipped off and the rest of this will go to cure and I'm sure I will report back in melting baskets but thank you so much for watching please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe